Hello and welcome to The Outside is our first ever live show. Coming to you from a very swanky hotel in the middle of London. So if you can hear the pianos tinkling, it isn't me and it's not Zach. It's a guest pianist who's playing for your privilege. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't do much about it. So please tolerate it and uh, go with the flow. Go so Zach, flow. how do you feel about this first experience here in London? Yeah, it's amazing. We're live. Um, we are, I think. And we're together. We are real. We are yeah. real. Human beings. Uh, which you won't be able to see on the audio podcast, obviously, but we are actually together in the same room, yeah. in a secret location. So let's, let's begin anyway. So we're now on to episode number seven, and our theme for number seven is change, which is quite uh, a large topic. Um, but the idea behind our podcast, The Outsiders, is that we are operating, well, what we're trying to create is an expressive and freestyle um, podcast where we will use the imp, where we, where we create and express our own take on life and what it means to be an outsider and how that impacts on our own life choices, um, our place in society, our health, our wealth and our relationships. And we use um, film, we use music, we use the arts as a foundation for our discussions. So let's get on with it and let's start with change. So Zach, what does change mean to you? Change. Change is a big one, isn't it? It um, is. So I'll start with a story that I heard just the other day. Uh, it was about the, the company called Kodak, who I'm wearing their t-shirt today. It wasn't or, planned that way. Not planned that way. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously not free advertising. But um, so they, uh, when they were a very big uh, film developer, well, they didn't develop films, didn't they? And of course, digital came in and Kodak didn't see digital as the future. So they carried on pursuing their film can't, you know, the, the development and you are limited to usually 30 or 40 photographs per film or cine, when it came with cine films, you were limited to three minutes per, per 50 foot reel. Um, so of course they didn't, uh, didn't go along with that. They ignored the whole digital thing and their business suffered accordingly. And a similar thing happened to Blockbuster, the video rental, right, when Netflix right. Came yeah. out. So, of course, what we're trying to say here today is that um, go with it, go with the change, keep adapting and learning. That's sort of that's kind of what their story tells us, isn't it? In a yeah, way. yeah. And it worked. But those both obviously Kodak was working both in the professional market as well as in the you know the domestic market. So it got hit both on both sides. Did. So they didn't see the change coming. Um, I'd like to link that story to one that connects to my own background, and that is. Um, my grandfather, uh, rest his, you know, rest his soul, was um, was an immigrant, and he was German, and he fought in the First World War. He was on the, um, he was a, he was um, he was in the cavalry, and so he was fighting on horses. Imagine the First World War, and he won the Iron Cross for bravery, which is quite something. Yeah move on 20 years and he was being chased out of the country by the Nazis. Yeah. Um, but by that stage he'd become an industrialist so he had a real full life. Um, and he had built up this business and he escaped through the help of some nuns. So he was quite a popular wow. boy. Yeah, absolutely. He got saved by the nuns and he found his way, but obviously sent my father and, and my grandmother ahead of him. And he found his way back to the UK and uh, built it up again from scratch. Crikey. So he had to build up a whole business all again. Yeah. He had to spend 20, I think, sorry, what am I talking about? At least three years, four years as a prisoner. Yeah. So he had to prove that he was trustworthy, etc. Wow. So he had to go through all of these hurdles and he had to adapt to all of the background, you know, all the things that were thrown at him. So he did it. However, he created this business that my father inherited, but my father wasn't built the same way, mm. you see. And he didn't see how that business that was basically around the food industry, how the technology had evolved. Mm. And he couldn't see it. And he thought it would just take care of itself. And it didn't. And in the end, he wasn't ready for it. What that meant to us as a family is that we had to adapt to, to change. Mm. And that change came in the form no of, came in the form no of um, us moving into a completely different life 
because he didn't see, he didn't have the vision of change and therefore our whole lives had to, you know, yeah, to change with it. But what I learned growing up was that you had to be able to adapt and change because if you didn't, you'd just be left like Kodak yeah. or, or my father. So yeah. I've constantly evolved and changed and it's been one learning curve for me that I have you know, found very valuable. But it's a very important one, <clears throat> very important learning curve because uh, obviously the world doesn't stand still. Um, we don't st the earth doesn't stand still in the universe, it's constantly adapting and changing to the environment around it and on the, the, our, our lives are the same. So the idea that you never change, it, it doesn't really work, it doesn't help you as an individual right. at all. Um, be prepared. Keep adapting and keep, and if you've got to learn something new, then enjoy the learning experience yeah and it doesn't happen overnight nothing does you just have to be able to roll with the punches yeah um, please excuse our interruption we weren't really ready for that but that just shows you how rough and ready we are and we are yeah. adaptable too so now let's move on Zach are there any films that come to mind with the with the theme of change well there's a great one that uh, instantly comes to mind yeah um, it's in the scene it's at the end of back to the future oh, yeah um, where you've got Marty McFly has gone through this whole thing and one single event that takes place in that film I hope it's not a spoiler for everybody changes his his parents basically which ultimately then changes his life and it just took one event to uh, for that to happen uh, so you saw the contrast at the beginning of the film of this sort of uh, downbeaten young yeah, lad yeah. He was sort of bullied throughout his life um, and just by him being encouraged to face up to that bully meant that when he returned, when Martin McFly returned to the, his new future, yes, uh, his parents were completely different, full of confidence, um, successful, yes, and doing things. So by, by standing up to Biff and bashing him, his whole life changed for him. And maybe that should be a motto to take away today. Bash Biff. Bash that Biff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, um, what about music? I was thinking, there were a couple yeah. of songs that came to my mind. Yeah. One um, that's very close to my heart is by David Bowie, and that's Changes. Ch -ch -ch Changes. Zach's going to sing it for us, which yeah. would be nice. The piano stops now. Yeah, what Convenient. the hell's going on? So Changes. <laughs> and the other one that I loved very much um, is a song by The Lightning Seeds. Yeah. Which what is was the change. name of the song? Though? I can't it, it was it was Drive, I think. Uh, you can't change. I can't yeah. remember, but it was really good. I really still good. Love the lightning. Oh scenes. yeah. Well, we should sing that as well, but we'll hold yeah. back from it today. But so there's a couple. Can you think of a song? That yeah, um, I'm a huge fan of Tears for Fears. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually went to see them in Wembley Arena years ago. They're sowing a Seeds of Love concert, and uh, because I had to get the last train home, being a rural person that I am, and not being used to this London life, I saw two songs because they were on late. So, and then I had to get the train. So it was, I saw two songs, but I, I could have seen another 12, I presume. But the, the, uh, the song I'm thinking of is um, Change yeah. uh, by Tears for Fears. Everyone's the doing it. The 80s one. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. Change is a key, key in our lives. Or it's a, it's a factor in life. Yeah. Change is, it's well, non-negotiable. We change as we, you know, we're, as we evolve. we're getting older. Yeah, well, can speak for yourself. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, we, so this is it. What about you? Have you... Uh, come up with any issues or stories or experiences that you'd like to share with us we'd love to hear them um, I'm going to put the uh, our Facebook um, link in the chat so you can have a look at that yeah. um, but we'd love to hear your own takes on on the topic of change or any uh, songs or yeah. films or any art or anything that you've got that represents change to you we'd love to we'd any love to change hear. that you went through sometimes it can be something that at the time seems quite a small detail, quite insignificant, but it it starts the process of a yeah. huge change. Yep. Um, and you might not realise it yourself at the time that it, what you, the, the decision you're making or whatever you're doing can lead to something Yeah, huge. I mean, it, anything from diets to the way you exercise mm -hmm. to the way you live your life, changing from not, you know, not drinking anymore or anything like that. Career, jobs. Careers, or, I mean, crikey, uh, how many times have we changed those? I mean, I've yeah, lost count. Yeah, me too. Um, so all of these things are just, uh, you know, facts of life. Yeah. Um, but they make it, you know, an impact. And mm. I, I think the last topic I wanted to really raise is how, as outsiders, mm. we view the idea of change. Have you mm. got any like, thoughts on that? 
Well, I think, uh, personally, coming from the outsiders, I think we, we can be quite open to change because I think as the way that we sort of see the world and feel about the world, that it, it sort of demands that sort of thing. Um, we're also rebellious by nature and when you get stuck in a rut or when you're repeating the same patterns every day, I, I, I certainly tend to want to try and sort of um, jazz it up a bit and, and create, make something a bit different. You, I, I, one of the jobs I had, you're just going into an office, you're repeating the same day and at yeah. five o'clock you finish and then you're in the same traffic, you see the same cars and then you go home. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember uh, when I was writing my book, having left a very you know, good job, I was also stuck in a rut and in fact I've written a poem <laughs> called Stuck in a Rut, which I maybe I'll share in the group, whatever. But really, that was all about that because yeah. basically, you know, you're, if you don't feel strong enough to stand up to that change yeah. and make it yourself, your insides will shake you up and down and do it for you. Yeah. So you have to make that change because obviously, it's not good for your spirit, it's not good for your whole being. And if you're not being good to yourself, how can you be good to others? Exactly. Um, and it goes round and round. So Stuck in a Rut is a, is a poem I will share with you, but I think, it does, it, it is significant that the change that comes along will come along unless you can be flexible mm. and adapt, uh, preferably ahead of the game if you can see it coming. And from an outsider's perspective, Zach, that's what we've been doing all our lives. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about survival, it's yeah. about doing the best we can do given our, our characteristics. Yeah, and don't be scared. It's, it's fighting through that fear, isn't it? It's natural to feel the fear of change because you don't know what's going to happen or what's going to, how it works. Or, but you, you do adapt and you learn. And the more you learn, when you learn about something, it's difficult at the beginning, but by the time you've got through, it's like learning lines for a play. It's difficult, you wouldn't walk on stage without doing the rehearsal period. Very few do and get away with it, that's exactly. for sure. Exactly, you do, but by doing the rehearsal period, then you get to a point where it's second nature. Yeah. And it's just, that's, that's the change process, isn't it? Don't fear it, and if it feels right in your heart, Embrace it yeah. and go with it. So I think that's really our take on the topic of change. And hopefully it's given you some food for thought, hopefully. Um, as I said, we'd love to hear your stories or your thoughts or your shares of any kind. Um, please join us on Facebook. And we will do some broadcasts from the Facebook page from time to time. Um, and we will have various other activities and events coming along as well. Yeah. But um, I think... As far as we're concerned on the topic yeah. of change, that's us. We're done. That's change for the time being. We ought to leave this place soon. Yeah, that's because true. Because they keep looking at us strangely. Because we're not, we're not the average guest, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know they can I mean? sense it, they can yeah. sense it. Anyway, <laughs> love talking with you and love to being together today. It's been amazing. To do this. It's been yeah. great fun. Had so, a lovely day. Yeah, so uh, we're going to post some pictures as well from our yeah. day in the park. Um, we've enjoyed being, getting out. So anyway, from London, we will say, we won't say hasta la vista, will we? We'll say cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> See you.